Hello YouTube and welcome back to our Bifrost run on the GOAT clan. We picked up a lot of strong uh, sets of bonuses in our first mission together with a nice uh, GOAT unique lore that gives us more sheepies and the fire blades which are extremely lovely and we now have the choice of either heading into the frost world and uh, Niflheim or we can go towards Muspelheim the fire world. I personally am a big fan of the fire world I'm just considering um, we are not so much depending on our food income of our normal villagers, so that makes Niflheim a little bit more doable. And it is a fun world as well. Um, let's actually head into... this is really just uh, up for preference, there's no neutral factions here that we can recruit. I'm just thinking what possible... we could get the Stormblades from Muspelheim, I believe, or fire towers which could be also really helpful and in the frost world we can get frost versions of those both of these things have their merits i would prefer having access to the area damage from the frost uh, from the storm blades so i think we'll head towards muspelheim the world of flames birthplace of eldrasar the fire giants and also lava golems and we'll have with uh, volcanoes to deal with and some other shenanigans. The Draugr on this map, Poison, which can be a little bit painful. But I think we are well equipped to handle this mission pretty easily. So here you can see we've got amenities already unlocked, which is super helpful. Uh, I think this is even the slot that usually you would find it in. And as per usual, we're gonna always start out with the scout camp and the sheep fault, of course. Our next goal is to find more sheep, so we can build a second one of these. And something super lovely about the fire world is that you don't need uh, firewood, so you don't need as much wood, and it really adds up to a lot of savings throughout the game. So that's quite lovely. We found an empty farm tile here. And our sheep, unfortunately, is occupied by four foxes. So we're probably going to need to get an extra camp out right away. Let's just see what else we get. We get another sheep here that's lucky. I'm going to continue scouting for now because we really don't need so much wood as we usually do. And since we at least have one extra sheep here. We probably want to get at least one woodcutter on a safe tile. So. I'm definitely going to build my first woodcutter here on our uh, base because, as I said, the volcano will eventually hit these tiles and burn them temporarily. And in the beginning of the game, we won't be equipped to fight, no, well, fight off the lava basically, or fight off the enemies that spawn in the lava. So, trying to stay safe basically for now. Once we have 50 wood, we can then think about getting extras out and clearing out our lore stone. I'm just gonna find more tiles so that making two extras actually pays off. The more we can clear with them, the, the better investment they are. Also, we want to know more about the map anyways. Three rhyme steam golems. These are gonna be helpful later on in the game because there is a forge and you can get special upgrades only for this map using the rhyme steel. Here, this is actually more helpful. This is an iron golem. We can use this to recruit our war chief. But we also need to clear nine foxes at the same time. So, so far these are not easy conditions for us to work with. We obviously also need to think about the defense in the winter, and we are already seeing a first attack. I think I'm just going to use these villagers to fight this off. Okay. Let's get a second woodcutter at this point and start constructing this extra camp now.
this is another helpful tile. This is much easier to clear out, so I think this will be where it takes us first. Another shipwreck up here, also good. But these Draugr are extremely dangerous because of the poison they can inflict on this map. Yeah, I think we're first gonna focus on clearing this fertile land here. And uh, we don't have farms, so these tiles don't really do anything for us, but... Yeah. With some amount of luck, we can force most of the attacks to go through this tile. That could also be helpful. And we're probably gonna do our best this time around to save our extras as much as we can. We're gonna be doing the usual dance for the next couple of minutes, clearing out all of these. In the meantime, saving up 80 wood to get another sheepfold, of course. Okay, thanks to extra damage, that's going a bit faster than we're used to. And we're gonna get started on our giant up here. Or on these both of these giants, I guess, on these golems. Thanks to the fire damage and the extra damage that the extras are doing, this is not gonna take forever. Okay, we need to probably take a hit just for the stone golem to move a little bit. I don't know why he's doing that like that, it's a bit annoying. What we could also try to do is just chase them around like this. Okay. I think hopefully we now have them stuck here in the middle. We're definitely gonna need at least one tower, perhaps even two. Let's not use these guys, uh, lose these guys and start. How much time do we have? Not much, honestly. Also gonna see a lava eruption, hopefully not on this tile, that would be catastrophic basically. Okay, we definitely also need to get a market soon. I think it shows usually which tile is gonna, going to be hit, so I think for now we're safe. Yes, we see it's a tile down here. And unfortunately we're being attacked also from this other side. Which definitely means we'll have to build a second tower. I'm gonna get a marketplace next and then throw a feast. Yep, the fire damage is helping out a lot. These golems are tricky enemies. Let's stay over here and use hopefully our trick again. I really hope the burning damage doesn't take out the golem because then we don't receive the rewards for killing it and we really need the iron that it gives us. Yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. There we go. Now we have five iron. That's going to be extremely helpful to get our war chief. Let's quickly throw 
one feast before the end of the year. I think there's no real reason not to go for Guardian, even though we've already scouted quite a bit, but at least we know a bit the lay of the land. And we'll need a second tower here in the base, because we shouldn't underestimate these attack waves at all. Our lore master is probably in serious danger. Okay, let's take... Let's begin with taking amenities. The sooner we start more sheep, the sooner we can expand our food production. And this lore master I'm gonna evacuate for now. This tile is very long, that's extremely helpful. Gives the tower a lot of time to hit the, the enemies. Also gonna get some barricades. Okay, yet another enemy coming, the Vanir. I think we're gonna focus on this giant for now. Need another house, we can just get it on this tile as well. Okay, I see more enemies coming towards this tile. I don't think we'll be able to repair the tower in time, unfortunately. So that's always dangerous. Yes, we were not able to do that. But at least the Dark Elves or the these Nomads are not so difficult. And we see another one coming our way. Okay, that should be pretty easy kill. We just need to not lose these extras because they're helpful. Okay, this is another iron golem. That's helpful because then we can start thinking about uh, forging upgrades as well. Ah, I think there's going to be more attacks heading our way. I definitely want to get a healer next. Okay, the elf is coming for our extras. We can't take another hit, so we need to leave in time. And in this case, we didn't get the kill because the fire banished damage took them out. One more rock golem to deal with. And it doesn't look like there's going to be another wave in the base. So possibly we can uh, scrap, scrap our barricade in a moment. A lot of our town is about to get really wounded. Okay, we definitely don't need this barricade anymore. There we go. We can get free iron forever. I actually believe that is quite helpful. We could also get stolen lore to get probably mostly city builder. Uh, however, I really like the idea of getting free iron that allows us to get a lot of upgrades and definitely also get the war chief out very easily. So we'll need this and we definitely don't need so much wood now anymore. Uh, one woodcutter I guess is okay. And we need a second marketplace. We don't have access to a brewer, unfortunately, and the dwarves don't really help us so much right now, so we don't really need to get them. And we could get two fighting dwarves to fight for us, but I think overall they're not going to be so helpful. Okay, begin by healing the healers, of course. Okay, this golem really doesn't know what it wants. Luckily,
luckily once again none of our tiles is burning so perfect okay our food production is struggling for now we really need to collect another sheep Easiest way would be to get the war chief, of course. So we're continuing saving for him. And this tile is going to be a pain to clear. Let's heal the other extra a little bit while we're waiting. Yeah, I might as well shoot these a little bit in the meantime. We're now getting free stones and free iron every map, so <laughs> really probably don't need to mine all that much anymore on the other maps. I think we should head into Weaponsmith to help all our clearing efforts out. Okay, I will send more merchants because we really need to recruit the Warchief. The reason I'm clearing these uh, golems is because there's a sheep on the tile and once we have the war sheep we can collect the sheep and the sheep is going to be helpful. I think what we should also do is probably just upgrade the merchants. And it will slow down the war chief initially but in, in total we'll collect more gold in the long run. Healers are almost done at least, so now they're finally collecting food again. While it's burning, let's upgrade this market now. We also need to save up some more wood to build towers again, because the waves obviously do get stronger over time. Let's collect the rhyme steel here, perfect. Oh, it doesn't have a sheep. I'm, I miss saw that okay well unfortunate we'll need to fight up our way up here taking some damage here will be unavoidable I believe still gonna try our best the golem might turn around every now and then Seems so far we're doing a good job and haven't taken that many hits yet. Really shows how overpowered the strategy is. OK, 
Okay, wow, well, that was uh, very dangerous. We finally have enough to get the watch if we're gonna do that in a second. Just continuing this while we have the the rhythm figured out. Only a handful of foxes left for. In the meantime, the golem is burning to death as well. These upgraded XRs are really a, such a good blessing, uh, such a good bonus that we collected in the first one. Making this mission much more bearable for us. Uh, let's collect our Warchi from the army camp. A uh, new stone golem stone spawned here that's helpful for us as well. And let's take actually defensive strategy to help us in the winter out. And I'm gonna um, send our merchants over to collect some wood instead now. We probably should also save up tons of food. There we go, let's collect the sheep home. We have a fifth one. Wonder why. Uh, because was there two here? I'm gonna slaughter this. The sooner we can colonize that the better actually. I still need a tower here. I want to get 200 fame. And with one more upgrade, we'll be able to do that. The question is, how are we going to be able to afford that? Our healers definitely need to stop healing for now. We need to get collect food. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of a rough winter. At least we have a big defense army to go. And thanks to not needing firewood, we can. We at least don't need to focus so much on collecting wood. Okay, we're already seeing two enemies move towards here, that's no problem. Food wise, we are safe, I believe, so let's collect wood again. Okay, this goal is a giant moving towards our main. Ideally, we'd have the militias tanking this attack like that. Perfect. And two more enemies coming our way here. This villager is lost, but that's okay. Nice, that's pretty much what we wanted. Once again, we were too slow to set up the barricade. So at this point, I'm gonna just save the wood. I think we won't need it this winter. to get towards uh, upgrading ideally the sheep folds I think okay the healer took a lot of damage unfortunately Let's let this wounded person die, actually, because that's going to be helpful. 
sustain wise. Uh, we have more dark elves coming our way. And we'll evacuate this tile as well. Looks like we got by without starving too badly. And there we go, we can get shamans, or we could get extra damage for our war chief. And overall, none of this is particularly helpful. I guess the shaman camp can be helpful in case we get many people wounded individually. It also generates some passive lore income, which I like. I do also like the extra attack damage of the war chief. However, it's kind of a trade-off between those two, so I'm taking the simpler bonus between those two. Okay, that's actually not going to solve our food crisis, and at least it's going to help out here a little bit. We'll see that another tile is about to be burned by the volcano. Okay, and I'm still waiting for the sheepfold upgrade. Why is it not letting me build here? I'm not. Uh, I don't understand. That's slightly bugged. Okay, the next goal is to take out this ranged one. Here, this one. There we go. The rest we can do with the extras. Especially now that they're burning, that's going to make it easier for us. We gained a free upgrade on our tower. Probably going to be this one then. Let's do it because it scouts out the area surrounding it. And now we can at least also build a sheep. I think what happened is that probably this Draugr was on the way to attack us. Oh, what? Please chase the war chief. Gonna just run a big circle in this tile, and hopefully he keeps chasing the warchief forever and ever. And we're about to spawn our next sheep. Okay, let's move around. Let's also get feeling safe so we have some semblance of happiness in our town. And we actually find the gates. Let's work on those right away because we can get the Thunder Blades, which I really like, uh, for the area damage. Also gonna start collecting more wood again. Uh, we also have the Mimius Brun, very nice. These are all very good tiles to have around. Okay, I think we spawned an extra sheep. Okay, let's get the Thunder Blades, of course. That's part of the reason why we came here in the first place. And it's time we start forging some upgrades for our town as well as building ourselves one of these extra, uh, no, not extras, but the dwarven camps. Okay, I think this barricade has definitely run its course. Okay, 
the very first upgrade I will want is the free one, but then I want the merchants. Let's fight off the Draugr first. And these woodcutters can start collecting gold next. I think I'm still aiming to upgrade sheepfolds. Because of how easily we can collect more sheep using the warchief. I think it's also probably going to be easier just to run with the warchief in circles. fight off this stone golem. And you can already see the Thunderblades putting in work as well. The good thing about the Thunderblades is that they do a little area damage and that can apply the fire to all enemies around. So it's a really good synergy basically to have. Okay, we can finally afford another upgrade. Let's upgrade the sheepful that's about to spawn a new sheep for us, as well as collecting this extra sheep here. I think I'm also going to want to collect the ship, uh, shipwreck up here. Okay, this has actually already been accomplished perfect. So you can go collect this and then we're also going to continue scouting past the Mimias Burn Fountain so we can collect that one. Okay, our woodcutters are now genius at collecting woods. Possibly the next market upgrade is in order, or the healers. Okay, these are four rhyme steel golems. Hopefully, we can just kite them around. And there you see the fire damage spreading through the thunder. I definitely also want to upgrade the extra, so I need to keep an eye out. And our escape path has been blocked by lava. That's very problematic, so we are <laughs> forced to continue doing this. Hopefully well enough without losing the war chief. Obviously we can run through the lava, it's not impossible, and we might have to do that because he is going very low. And I don't want to risk losing him. Let's upgrade our extras next. And I think for the price, uh, for the stone, I want to get this uh, dwarven camp out. As well as some barricades up here. And we finally found the anvil, which is definitely where we are going to be colonizing towards next. Perhaps what I'll do is I won't set up barricades and towers here. Instead, we'll do it at the forge and uh, surrender this tile once we can so that we can colonize cheaper the other way. We still have yet one more sheepfold to upgrade and a feast to throw. We haven't done many feasts this game. Possibly it's not too late to get this barricade here. And po probably we'll need to slaughter the sheep to make it through the winter. Uh, 
and I will get the military units first. Okay, we can get Monster Slayer, that should help fighting all these uh, golems off. And in terms of blessings, we could get Yurt's blessing to upgrade yet another sheep for this one. I think we have an extra sheep. There we go. I forgot about this situation here. Looks like we got some uh, melee dwarfs this time. Okay, we need to repopulate that marketplace. Uh, let's send the militia over here, or the range units, I guess. all these uh, sheep working in the sheepfold. I hope I didn't mess that up. Okay, the civilians here fighting. Okay, looks like we survived, however. There's one more attack wave coming. I think that barricade is gonna last. Okay, actually that's a lot. Uh, let's evacuate this situation here for now. can move over our entire force. I think that's probably the best way to do it. We still have a scout. That scout can find if there's some neutrals here that can take our tile from us. For once we actually do want that. And we can get free merchant tools. I'm gonna get that because uh, there was nothing better. And we already upgraded them in this mission, but in the future that's gonna make it even easier to get value out of the forge, especially with the free iron. It's probably gonna mean we never need to actually mine any iron. So let's set one person to chop wood and finally throw us some feasts. I really hope we find the lore that allows us to put more sheep into sheepfolds or that the sheepfolds make gold. And we can get a another freelance dwarf. I think I lost one. Is there some stone golem? There is, but it doesn't really seem feasible fighting that right now. Okay, these are just golems. They're never gonna actually attack our tile. So my plan of surrendering it is never gonna work out. But we can use these extra sheep that we now have to colonize further and further. We have one extra here. And 
and I want this fountain, and then I want the forge, obviously, as well. You'll be our forger. And let's definitely work the lore here. 250, and then we can expand. Um, the scout is still scouting here, good. Let's take out these stone golems, so we can upgrade the healer. Okay. Continue fighting this one wolf, why not? This one we can clear in a couple seconds as well. Yeah, we know that you are unemployed, that's fine. Yeah, you're gonna continue being unemployed for quite a while, unfortunately. There's nothing really to mine for you on this map. Instead of collecting wood, we really need food right now. Another shipwreck that we don't really need, actually. I'm just gonna continue tanking all these enemies now. I think we are at the point where we don't need to kite them too much. We can just do it like this. Okay, we do don't want to lose our units, however. I think we have an extra sheep, finally. And let's colonize that, because that gives us the strongest possible upgrades for our army. And we're gonna begin right away. Possibly we want to first become immune to burning damage. Let's continue with medicine to get uh, better healers. And once we have 50 wood we can also construct ourselves a relic. So that this dwarf is no longer unemployed. Uh, let's just get Gyphon's Jar, why not? It's probably, in most cases, the best relic you can get. We don't really have an easy way of generating happiness, however, so let's instead go for the Murner to make it even easier to defend. I don't know if the Murner stacks with the thunder damage that we already do. I think it should. Okay, we need to defend our forge. I will just upgrade one of these houses. Okay, we finished the first rune, let's continue with the dodge rune, because that's also very, very strong, 20% dodge chance. I want to next get a tower here, so we can defend off that uh, tile with the druggers. Okay, do we see where the golem is going to spawn? Ah, oh, no, it's going to be on our tile. Luckily we are immune to burning damage, so that's why we get that one first. So 
So we can ignore the tile burning and just keep working here. Just need to defend against the golem that spawns. There you go. Um, we get a free lore and yes, let's take actually journeyman so we get some proper happiness now. And you can see that we are completely immune to the burning. We can just keep working the tile. In a second we can throw one more feast. Go ahead. I think we also have a free upgrade. Let's do it. Next rune done, let's get immune to poison from the Draugr. Upgrade this defense tower as well. And we're gonna set up a barricade here. And possibly build us a house, why not? Okay, it looks like there will be some attacks this way, so let's upgrade here as well. Uh, begin by repairing the tower, that makes more sense. Okay, I will bring the militia to defend on the back. being attacked on many fronts at the same time. And as you can see the waves are getting scarier now. Uh, this is actually still delayed. Very happy for all the military upgrades we have. Okay, this one villager is definitely damned. At least he kept them busy for quite a while. Okay, nice. And these lore masters probably need to run for their lives. We have one more rune we can forge. Okay, you can please leave, thank you. This is where freezing runes become very helpful, so probably we should become a uh, hunt for those next. Freezing blades, that is. Okay, we need to run you towards repairs. I think with the tower you got this. And yeah, the tower didn't last long enough, however. We'll try to set up another one. And we have finally found the Bifrost down here, which is where we'll focus our next efforts. I think we should go for a military strategy that benefits all our units first. We can even upgrade the tower while fighting, that's helpful. Ok, 
Okay, let's prepare this. I want to upgrade the scout camp so we can send three scouts. And I think we forged everything that we need to forge. Okay, we can get bloodthirst or we can upgrade two extra camps for free. This is extremely good lore. I'm going to take it and override our mining efficiency with it, because I don't think we're going to need mining efficiency, since we have both free stone and iron income. And this is such unhelpful lore to have. So it, it will definitely save us a lot of time healing. Okay, we will clear towards the Bifrost now and get some scouts ready to take over, basically. We also need to continue colonizing this beacon. But I think we can kind of do two birds with one stone by fighting this way. Let's see, if we can get another healer's hut... Okay, we see one of our tiles is in danger, we need to re retreat or send at least the militia there. Is there any other useful upgrade? Maybe the lore masters. don't need so much gold right now either. Okay, this dwarf is forever unoccupied, but that's okay. Really need to give these scouts some work, some jobs. Do we have yet another sheep extra? There's one. Should have one more that's ah, up here. Okay, we'll keep the scouts here because we want to scout this now, because there's no more bonuses we can collect. I think this mission we didn't lock out all too much, but at least we get the storm blades or the thunder blades. Which are still very helpful, of course. We don't need this forge anymore. We need to collect gold, because I think you need 400 gold to colonize this, exactly. So to help with that, we're going to upgrade one more healer. Well, it doesn't really help with the gold, but it does help with the food production. And the Thunder Blades should make quick work of this area here. It's difficult to see if the Milner is also working or not. Okay, let's feast. There's a ton of sheep here, which I'm going to take. Thank you very much. Why is this one not coming? Okay, we also want to clear this Draugr tomb.
more sheep for us, which we still have a cooldown. But what I want to do ideally is... Didn't we have four sheep here a second ago? Where did they run? They all run all the way to the back, that's cute. Uh, let's colonize this Draugr tomb. And take Bloodthirst. So we can work towards coinage at least. And I want to get yet another market. Don't think we need any more woodcutters. Draugr tomb, but this one is too expensive to colonize. All we care about is the gold at this point anyways. We can definitely throw one more feast before it becomes too expensive. join the militia technically in the defense okay let's throw off east also gonna upgrade the market now uh, we have a volcano hitting somewhere let's take a look Possibly in the fog somewhere. Not a problem then. But it's very unlikely there's more objectives in the back, so I think once we are ready with the Bifrost we will just leave. Yeah, I think we have some more sheepies here. But yeah, the fees have become too expensive, the tiles have to become too expensive, and I was blind, and there's yet another attack up here. Now we could finally lose this in favor of colonizing more, but at this point it doesn't matter. Let's take over the Beacon of Light, so we start always with some extra lore, fantastic. Thank you, that is extremely good. And then we are done in this world. You can see the bloodthirst putting in some healing. Too bad the runes don't carry over to the next worlds because they would be very helpful to have. But possibly would make this world also way too overpowered. One more feast. And let's move over to the Bifrost just in case the scouts are not in time. I think there should be. And yeah, we have some very nice synergies. Free iron, free stone, some free tools. So building the forge early is actually quite valuable. A lot of upgrade for the extras with the extra attack power and the two blades. We got a stronger war chief. At least that's helpful in the ice mission. And here we go, uh, we finished just in time before the winter hits, and I don't think we're gonna trouble ourselves with these waves, so we're just gonna leave. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe the video if you want to see more Bifrost, and hope to see you in the next one.